You've been studying this whole issue of, uh, of race and gender and identity. Your reaction to this latest controversy? <laughs> Well, I think it has become such a big issue because it taps into a certain zeitgeist going on in the country. We more and more people now realize that race is not biological, it, there's no DNA of race, and so it's socially constructed. But what does that mean? What does it mean to say it's socially constructed? Uh, there's a lot of confusion around that. And when she says things like, you know, it's complicated, people are not sure how to make sense of that. But what it means to say it's socially constructed is that it's socially constructed. It's not individually constructed. It's based in social customs and practices and histories. And so, you know, we have decided together that a piece of paper counts as a dollar. Everybody has to agree to that or it's not going to work. That's what social construction means. And we have to then think about what are the political conditions by which our racial practices have been socially constructed. Who has participated in that and who has not been able to participate in that? And how is, you know, how has it been constructed for what end, for what purpose? And I think also we have to realize that um, because identities like race are socially constructed, they can be socially constructed in different ways in different contexts. I know you're going to cover the Dominican Republic later today. Um, in the United States, we have usually lineage which trumps all other considerations. If you have one drop of lineage way, way, way back, that trumps all other considerations. In a lot of parts of Latin America, appearance trumps lineage. So to say if, if you're light-skinned, you're blanco, and what it means to be blanco is to be light-skinned, it's, it's appearance. The joke is, you know, that in the DR, they have sort of the reverse one-drop rule. One drop of white blood makes you white, whereas in the United States, it's the reverse. So con contexts make a difference. You're a Panamanian-American. Yes, yes, and, and in much of Latin America, appearance works. So you have three different... Uh, way a criteria that can work to to create race lineage appearance and cultural assimilation there are some indigenous groups that use cultural assimilation I think if you talk like a group if you have accepted their ways and their belief systems that you can be a full member of that group and this is the kind of thing that Dolajal is kind of making you know reference to she's claiming a kind of cultural assimilation but we know that she was presenting herself as black and relying on the fact that people around her were assuming that meant lineage. She may herself have been, you know, wanting to use this definition of cultural assimilation, but she was playing on the fact that in the United States it's lineage, and that's what people are assuming, and she had to know that.